Diversity is the accounting and mindfulness of our commonalities and differences. Often, organizations have focused on one aspect or the other. Differences are easy to see. Communication styles, social backgrounds, gender and race are often the aspects where we draw lines of difference. The Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, the Americans with Disabilities Act, and Title IX. Gender equality in education are all attempts to heal the systemic harms caused by the false inferiority and undervalued gifts that differences offer. Yet, when we look at the core motivations of human beings, we can recognize we're all seeking safety, significance, and belonging. The human experience provides for us many similar challenges and experiences that require universal responses. We need safe spaces to develop. We long to love and be loved. Fear and desire community where our talents can be utilized. Our methods may be very different, the words we use to express our core values may have contextual meaning, and many of the desires we seek may look different. It's these human commonalities that allow us to look past our superficial differences and unite around our common goals. Yes, working with differences comes at a cost. It's not easy and requires attention and work. This is the call of leaders and servant leadership. Diversity is the accounting of and recognition of our commonalities and differences. We express and attempt to reach our common goal in different ways. We can discuss methods when they differ when we remind ourselves and the people we work with that we share many of the same values. Here are three things to remember. We're more alike than we are different. We have common goals and we express them differently. We can build strength by recognizing and accepting our differences. Here are three things to do. Acknowledge visible and invisible differences and commonalities, for example, learning styles, personality preferences, cultural backgrounds. Require team members to regularly change roles, responsibilities, and work with people they don't work with often. And three, encourage team members to continue to build relationships outside of the working sessions. 